my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about a book signing event I attended and the books I picked up from the event. So while I was there I was able to pick up, um, it was organised by Cassava Republic and the event was at Dulwich Books. So I got all my books from Dulwich Books and um, it was my first book signing event so I didn't know what to expect and it was interesting. I got there a bit late but I was able to listen to the conversations and meet the authors because I felt like I read books but I never get to meet the people who actually write these books. So what would it be like? So I went. I found out about the event on um, Facebook because I was following the um, publisher's um, Facebook page so they said they were doing something in West Dulwich in London so I thought might as well, it's not too far from me so I might as well go to the event and see what it's like, see what it was like. And um, there were some interesting conversations from the authors and I remember one of the, um, because they were, they were all, um, three of them were Nigerian, I would say Nigerian African writers, and um, there were conversations about whether there's a decline in the reading culture in Nigeria, whether people were reading less or not, and um, some people said, some because people feel like maybe people are not reading books anymore, but from what the authors were saying, people are reading, people are reading Bella Niger, Linda Cage's blog, um, I don't know what else I'm reading. Reading different blogs and books as well, and religious books. People read that as well. Educational books. We we read different things. It's just that maybe people may not be reading fiction as much, and it's just and it was like so. Okay, if people are not reading fiction, how do we take it to them? And um, yeah, so that was one side of things. So maybe there isn't really a decline in reading culture of Nigerians, and people are reading. But it depends. And while and another thing was may, maybe authors are under pressure to meet like Chimamanda Ditches, um, well I say follow her footsteps, or like you know, like is there be, maybe a comparison between them and Chimamanda? And from what from what I gauged from what the authors were saying, they didn't feel like there was um there was they felt intimidated or they didn't feel like they couldn't write good books. They were writing anyway. And I think that's great as a reader. I feel reading just maybe Chimamanda Adichie isn't just the only thing I want to read. It's the same way you watch TV. You don't just, most of us don't just watch one show, we watch this one and that one. I think having other authors produce work is amazing. So like as readers, we have a wide variety of choice in picking what books we want to read and not just reading one particular author because she or he is world acclaimed. So to let you know who the authors are, there was, um, Leia Adinley and this was the, one of his books. I picked this one up at the event and I also got um, Sarah Ladipo Maika. So like a more bringing ice cream to the sun. That was one of that was she was there as well and um, I got Born on a Tuesday by on Nathan John. This one I've actually read it but the other two I'm yet to read them so I hope to get talked into them soon. And um, would I would I go to another reading event? I think I would. It was interesting listening to meeting the authors and I was able to get all the books signed. I went with the intention of not buying anything and I came out with three books and I'm supposed to be the girl managing my money. So let me see, what was this one signed? I think this was signed as well. Yeah, it was signed and the other one was signed as well. So with my name on it and you know the woman that I am I was like what if I want to resell these books what will I do with all of them signed but I don't think I'll be reselling them so I don't need to worry about that and thank you for watching and let me know if the, um, you've attended any book signing events and what your thoughts were and if there are any books that you've enjoyed you can live you can suggest them at the bottom so I, I can have a look at them and maybe read them as well thanks for watching <laughs>